to insert a high quality photo into your manuscript there's two things you need to keep in mind for your print version of your book through CreateSpace you your image will need to be 300 pixel or more and most pictures from your iPhone or your phone or if you are creating images from like canva.com or something else like that they're going to be less than 300 pixel per inch because the iPhone or the your phone picture and graphic design uh, like canva.com is good enough for webs for a website but not necessarily for print so you're going to be focusing today on scaling your images to 300 pixels per inch the other thing to keep in mind is for your electronic book through uh, Kindle your image needs to be inserted into the Word document not copy and pasted so that's the two things I'm going to focus on today so you have a manuscript and you want to put in an image you will need to open up your GIMP, go to File, go to Open, find the file that you uh, want to scale, and you may need to do search or if it's on your desktop, so you'll be using the left-hand column to search for that file. Then you'll choose the file, you'll open it up, and this particular picture GIMP has identified that it should probably be rotated so you can rotate it and there it is you're going to scale it up you're going to go to image up here uh, mouse down to about midway midway and that'll be scale image you can see that the X resolution and the Y resolution are 72 pixels per inch so we're going to increase that to 300. You can also scale, um, change the image size, but for this one we just need to increase the resolution to 300 pixels per inch and hit scale. So it doesn't look like anything was done, but so you can always go back, scale image to confirm that, yep, it's 300. <coughs> when you've increased the resolution you're going to export it and you see this was already uh, a JPEG what I normally do is I rename or I name the file I export the new higher resolution picture with the same file name and then just put 300 px to identify that it's 300 pixelated you don't need to choose a file extension by leaving that period JPG extend, file extension. It will export it as a JPEG. Click on export and since we're making this as quick and easy as possible just leave all the defaults the same and hit export again. And you're ready to go. So open up your Word document. If you are using a Mac version of Word, it may look a little bit differently, but the basics are the same. So put your mouse where you want to insert the picture. If you want it between the two paragraphs, I'll put in a paragraph, um, hit enter, and then go to again we want to insert not just copy and paste we want to insert the image so go to insert choose pictures go to um, the file and as you can see the file that has 300 px is the one I want hit insert and it is too big for the 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 manuscript so we're going to change the size you can manually resize it okay or you can go up to the um, once you've 
clicked on the image it's picked and you can go to the picture tool format and just change um, let's say I want the height of not 32 inches but 2 inches okay when you resize when you use these the ribbon to resize and it doesn't resize correctly make sure that your lock as aspect aspect ratio is on okay if it's not undo what you did and then uh, make sure it's locked and change the size right now it is in line with text okay. what you're going to do you can keep it in line with text if you want to center it you can go to the home ribbon click on an in paragraph making sure that the picture is picked you can center the picture there if you would like to have the text wrap around you can either go to click on the image go to format uh, click position okay so this is going to be it square uh, you can change it there or if you got this icon click on that and some text wrapping options are square then there's tight um, text can run through it through the image you can have it top and bottom you can have be a picture behind the text or the text behind the picture um, I normally do square okay and that means you'll need to change it and since there was a space here we'll need to change that so you can move it manually now right now this image is reaching into the margin and you don't want your text or your images encroaching on the margin because that may be where you're trimming it or if it's in the gutter um, it might be bound there so the easiest play, way to do it is move it up and down where you want it then make sure that it's picked go to the picture tool again and you can choose position or the quickest way that I I found is go over to the size again click on the icon that expands the window you're in size go to position and now that it is vertically where you want it you can choose to um, align it horizontally left or right of the column so I'm going to do right of the column and you can see that it moved in and it is not impinging on the margin and the reason why that's important is there's a um, create space w identifies a portion of the margin that they can trim so they don't want any of your any text or images being cut off so that's how you can align um, the image easily a couple other things with the image is you can color it again once you've picked the image you're in the picture tools and format you can colorize it um, you can make it gray your print manuscript is probably going to be black and white so you don't necessarily have to change the color but maybe you want to change it to black and white there's a lot of other artistic effects you can do uh, but you can change it into black and white one other option for making the images visibly appealing or interesting is to choose a picture style some definitely are not a good choice um, I mean this you don't necessarily need to have a shadow but one of the ones that I do routinely um, depending on the manuscript routinely add is a rotated image um, 
just having it offset a little bit is interesting. Now with this, this frame is too thick, so you can go to the picture, uh, again, picture tools, format, picture border, go to the weight and change it to, let's say, six. And play around with it. If you use, I wouldn't have all of your pictures rotated like this, a handful, maybe some rotating a different way, um, but if you do similar picture styles should have similar um, specifics such as if you have five pictures that are rotated they should all have the same um, weight of frame they should be rotated the same distance um, another one that I've done in the past is create a shadow obviously there are you can specify its own effects so you can create um, let's say you want a shadow just on the right um, you can do that insert all the images and then come back and play with them uh, then of course hit save and you're good to go so that is your increasing the resolution of your images to fit 300 or to be 300 pixels per inch for your print book inserting them into your word document so that kindle direct publishing can provide the best experience to the reader on the electronic version have fun